Okay, we are jumping right into this painting video. The first thing I'm going to do is take some hot water and pine allen with a rag and start washing the walls, wiping them down, wiping down the top of the cabinets. And I'm also going to be using this wet rag to like really wet down the wallpaper that is at the top of the wall so that I can remove it. I do wash the walls down I probably every other month and I wipe down the top of the cabinets at the same time I just normally wring out the rag really really well but for taking off the wallpaper I'm basically having like a super wet rag to wet the paper so it kind of just falls off walking away your words are lost on me It's taking everything Not to turn around Throw it away See if you'll let go of me When you're not holding me I can see it now Hey, when I lose But if I'm gonna lose you I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a long time Lost in my head, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose this I'm up all day, all night, be playing our last fight Now in hindsight, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose this Yeah, kinda hate myself sometimes Everything was on the line Didn't wanna be the one who had to say it No, I can't move on the time Promise I'll put down my pride Don't look back because I mean it when I say it and You can kind of see here at the end I found mold underneath the wallpaper i don't know how it got there don't know how long it's been there i'm so embarrassed but i couldn't see it through the paint or anything because the previous owners just painted over this wallpaper so i don't know if they knew it was there i have no idea so i just finished taking off the rest of the wallpaper and i found two places total of mold so i used a bleach cleaner to clean the majority of the mold off and then I went to Walmart and I got Zanser I think is the brand it's a mold killing primer and I it's a, in like a spray can form and I just sprayed the areas that had the mold after just in case I didn't get all of it I wanted to make sure that it would not come back so I sprayed those down and then I moved on to painting other things because that primer needed a while to set and dry and do its thing so I decided to move on to the cabinets I basically wanted to start with the cabinets and the backsplash because I felt like they were going to take the longest and this particular weekend that I was starting Nathan was out of town and Jax was with my parents at their house just like staying the weekend with his grandparents so I figured this is the perfect time to start this project since the cabinets and the backsplash will take the longest so I'm going to be taking off all the cupboards like the doors and then I'm going to start painting those and start painting the cabinets on the walls and we're just going to get it going. Like that, 
Staying up all night, throwing drinks by little like history about our home it was actually originally built in 1952 it is a classic classic farm home for the time that is why the original color of the kitchen was burnt orange with beigey yellow cabinets very very typical of the time especially for this area with the limestone brick backsplash and earth tones all very on trend for the time then the people who lived here before us kind of didn't do the best job of taking care of the house and they updated it but kind of in like kind of janky half-ass ways if you want to say it that way like i said they didn't take down the wallpaper obviously they just kind of crappily painted over it they only painted half of the cabinets as you can see when i was taking the doors off half of the cabinets were white and half of them were still that yellow beige color so yeah basically we are trying to revamp this home into a farmhouse for this area and make it beautiful again because the people who lived here before us did not take care of this house My mess up. Tell, never tell Just trust that I'll keep it locked in a cell Never revealing no secrets you're keeping These promises strong as a spell I'll never tell Yeah, I like you, that's for sure Never have to close the door Been a long time, a year before And I'm missing you so bad Gone away, I'm not the 
boy Every show I go before I need to hear that voice Cause right now it feels like it's been too so long I could never let, let you go Go on thinking about the secrets too Secrets you're keeping These promises strong as a spell I'll never tell you Oh, it's true 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 You're an angel, that's for sure With some devil, hear you roar But I like it, we on the floor And my ear be whispering Used to have fun, now I'm bored Do I miss you? Yes, of course Think about that time When we stayed up all night talking I could never let, let you go Go on thinking about The secrets you That I'll keep it locked in a cell Never revealing no secrets you're keeping These promises strong as a spell I'll never tell So now it is the next day and I'm doing the same thing for the backsplash that I did for the walls. I'm taking pine allen and hot water with a rag and I'm going to be wiping down the backsplash. I wipe down the backsplash just about every day but obviously you want to make sure it's super super clean right before you start painting so that the paint has the best chance of sticking and lasting. So I'm going in with a bright white and the reason that I decided to paint it honestly is because at first I wanted to completely remove the backsplash and replace it with white subway tiles but then I thought to myself well why don't I just try painting it first because if the paint works then I spent $25 on one gallon of paint and I have a totally brand new look to my kitchen and it saves us like a thousand dollars. If it doesn't work, then okay, like I just put, you know, $25 down the drain, but at least it's only 25 and not a thousand, if that makes sense. <laughs> stoked because it seems like it's working it's going to probably take two or three coats just to make sure everything is covered because the limestone brick is so textured but I think it's actually gonna work and it's going to look amazing
that is all for part one. This is everything I got done in one weekend. The mold definitely set me back a little bit, but that is okay. I knew it was going to take me more than one weekend to do the entire kitchen anyway, so it's all good. So definitely come back for part two when we start to tackle the ceiling, walls, and the bottom portion of the cabinets. I will see you again in another video very soon. Thank you so much for watching. My Instagram and my TikTok are down below, along with anything you might want to know from this video, anything I'm using in the video. And yeah, I will see you in a new video very soon, you guys. Bye! <music>